in the Friar's Tale, in the Canterbury Tales. After hearing the Wife of Bath story, the Friar says their story should steer clear of theological topics. He says he will tell a story about a summoner. The summoner in the group promises to pay him back with a story later about a friar. Now there once was a scheming summoner who used his position to extort money from people. He is on his way to get some money from an innocent widow when he meets a young yeoman. He tells the yeoman that he is a bailiff, and the yeoman says he's one as well. Based on their shared occupation, they become friends and swear to be brothers to their dying day. The yeoman says he has to extort money from people to make a living. The summoner agrees, he must do the same. The yeoman reveals that he is a fiend from hell, chosen to appear in a human shape. The summoner says that even though that's scary, their partnership stands. The two come upon a farmer with a cart stuck in the mud. Frustrated, the farmer says, the devil take all. The summoner thinks this means that the fiend can take all the man's belongings, but the fiend explains to the summoner that the farmer didn't really mean the words. The two travel to the house of an innocent old widow, the summoner lies to the woman, saying that there's a charge against her, but that if she pays him, she won't have to answer for it. She replies that she doesn't have enough money. When he persists in harassing her, she curses him, saying, may the blackest devil out of hell carry you off. The fiend asks if she is sincere, and she says she is. So he takes the summoner off to hell, where he says he'll fit right in. This story includes the trickster tricked plot device. It is ominous in tone and has elements similar to the Pardoner's story of the three young men whose own sins eventually caused their downfall. Avarice, or greed, is the main sin for which the summoner of this tale is condemned. The summoner is willing to make any deal that furthers his chances at a profit, and this leads to a lack of morality and going to hell. The summoner in the story is far from an innocent victim of the devil. The relationship between the summoner and the fiend is brotherly. The summoner agrees to continue in brotherhood with the fiend even after he finds out his true nature. 